Last week on Chasing Patches, we went to an alternator shop in Demopolis, Alabama, transited our last walk, and made it to the Bay of Mobile, which means salt water. But before we start sailing, something pretty important has to be done. All right, well, she's running. I'm going to go uh, over there and see if we can uh, make sure they're there and put the mast up. It's got nidophores in the tentacles, which are like little spring-loaded barb pokers that, that squirt like, they don't squirt, but they, they stick in your skin with like a venom and oil toxin. So <laughs> the skin on your hands and the skin on the bottom of your feet, on your palms, is too thick for the nidophores to spike you. Um, so it won't hurt you there, but if it touches you on the back of the skin, it will get you. And they're like little needles that poke in with like toxins, like neurotoxins. So what you want to do is if you get poked in there, just rub it with sand. That's the best way to knock them out. This thing, we don't actually know if they're good. What is this girl doing? Making pumpkin pie. Pumpkin pie? Pumpkin pie. What do you think, it's like Halloween or something? <laughs> it's not. It's November 4th. Well, it's in between Halloween and Thanksgiving. It's fall time. I think this is like the perfect thing, yeah, for fall. Even though that we're nowhere close to rotting leaves and... It's like really hot here. <laughs> yeah, it's like 85 degrees or something. We just got back from the beach and now I'm just casually making some pumpkin pie. Those little suckers look pretty good. There's so much extra filling. About to go in the toaster oven. Anyways, here's where we stopped being so consistent with taking video. Because actually sailing while taking video is a lot harder than while motoring. Just to make sure you're caught up, we stayed in Mobile, Alabama for about one week. We restepped the mast, we took an overnight trip to New Orleans, and completed a few other random boat projects before continuing east along the Gulf Coast. So we're at this free dock right across from Lulu's and Gulf Shores, Alabama, and the tidal current is kicking along pretty good. Probably, I don't know, one and a half to two knots. Not crazy, but it'll be enough to make getting off this dock right here very tricky. And so I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our gloves on and just push the pillars until we're kinda out and give it full reverse and see what happens. We came in forward. We initially tried to come in backwards last night with the tidal current going the other way, so it was pushing us away from the dock. And that didn't go well. We lost a uh, poker and um, kind of embarrassed ourselves in front of the whole crowd at Lulu's. Just over there, it was a full dinner crowd Sunday night. Had to be 50 people over there watching. <laughs> and unfortunately, it took us probably at least 20 minutes to get tied up, which sucked, so. Mm. What are you gonna do? Uh, it's our first experience with tides, and that's all I have to say about that. man the uh the, the wind here is really fluky because there's all this land over here but i'm about to sail or i should say we're about to sail 
underneath our first bridge as Sydney cooks us up some awesome delicious lunch and RJ uh, imagines biting his fingernails to relieve his stress at about sailing under this bridge. The good news is we're going under alone. Nobody else, just us. So I can hit the middle and it's all mine. 72 feet of air draft, perfect. Beautiful little anchorage here, Sand Island Pedro Key. And they said it's a five star anchorage and it doesn't disappoint, honestly. It's beautiful here. Really awesome, not many boats. And uh, tomorrow the Blue Angels are gonna take off from over there and fly right over us. 11.30 a.m., Tuesday morning. Kinda strange, we have a giant paddle wheel boat behind us. I don't know exactly what they're doing, but they got these bright lights on and they're just hanging out on the free dock in Fort Walton Beach. So we've been in 15 knots of breeze and so far the rig looks healthy. I just tuned the uh, leeward side to carry the proper amount of tension and uh, the windward side looks good. I haven't seen anything that makes me nervous and um, probably a little bit too much wind for the sails. I don't know. Maybe if you're an expert you can tell us. Um, never sailed with a new set of sails before so I didn't really care that much. But uh, if it gets any stronger, which I don't think it will, it's been kind of like fluky like you know 10 knots and then it'll pipe up to 15 for 20 minutes so it's just kind of the up and down like that right now we're in an up of about 15 knots and everything looks pretty good so gloomy behind me, ominous you might say, and I'm currently racing Skinny Dipper to this bridge up here. And they have a more powerful motor than us, so they are motoring along just fine, and I have more sails up, and the wind is diminishing, so they're kind of neck and neck with us right now. I caught them, they were like two miles ahead of us, and then as soon as we got here the wind kind of died down. Um, so it should be interesting to go through this gap with them. I don't know if David slowed down or if that big puff of wind just shot me ahead of him. I'm not sure, but it looks like I'm going to be the, uh, the lone boat going through here, which is uh, a good thing, I think, because <laughs> as soon as I get past this, with this pillar, the wind's going to die and I'm going to stop for a sec. Well, not stop, but I'll slow down dramatically for a few seconds and then I'm sure it'll pick back up once I get a little bit past the bridge. Doing 7.5 miles an hour, so... 
that's screaming for this boat. We are coming up on this bridge. Looks like we got just about 63 feet, which is good because we are about 46 feet, something like that. 48 if you don't want to touch the radar, radar antenna. But um, yeah, we should be fine for this one. The weather slowly started changing to sunshine and warmth, what we had been waiting for all along. As we traveled further, we passed by a lot of hurricane-damaged boats though, and it reassured us that taking our time isn't necessarily a bad thing. all this stuff going on so we passed this yesterday and we were gonna keep going but the weather was really bad like 25 knots or something like that on open water and <clears throat> to the clearest marina we had to go through some rough patches the next marina excuse me anyways long story short we're backtracking and we're passing this giant thing I don't know what it is but it's pretty cool We were heading to Port St. Joe Marina for the night and ended up booking a stay for the entire month. With almost no advanced planning, we found ourselves in a small town bearing the same name as the town where we started the trip, in Michigan. It felt like a perfect place to stop, recollect, take a trip home, and prepare for crossing the Gulf of Mexico.